Hi, Caleb from Brownhouse here, and in today's quick tip, I wanted to talk about removing rubberized butt pads from rifles and shotguns. So the reason I wanted to do this um, is, I'll just give you an example here straight out the gate. So if you look at the butt pad on this Remington 870, this old one here, uh, it is obvious that somebody removed this butt pad and just absolutely wrecked the, um, the actual rubber around the, the screw holes. Uh, which is what you'll often see. So if you're like looking at guns in a pawn shop or um, someone brings a gun, if you're a gunsmith, you'll see this. People bring guns into the gunsmith shop that they've obviously taken apart themselves. And on guns like this, obvious, it's it's not, honestly, it's not a huge deal uh, because the holes are already like pushed in them pretty big anyway. But if you have something like a custom fit recoil pad, like your Packmeyer decelerators or something like that, those are typically cut with a razor blade, so you can't even see the holes whenever you're looking at them. So it's extremely important to carefully remove those. And the way you do that, so at Brownells here, we have this screwdriver bit specifically designed for removing these rubberized butt pads. That's just a Phillips head bit with a round shank that's nice and smooth. So the way you would do this is take a gun oil uh, you can use pretty much any gun oil, just don't use solvents because some older recoil pads don't play well with, with uh, aggressive solvents. And what you would do, I'll demonstrate on this 1022 stock here. Alright, so you would just take a little bit of the oil and I just like to put a little bit around the hole, just like so. And then, with my screwdriver bit here, I'll just put a little bit on there. And from here, all you need to do is just slip it in and unscrew your butt pad. And then when you're done, just wipe off the excess oil. It's that easy, that's all you need to do. And that will preserve the aesthetics of your recoil pads. Uh, so that's all there is to it. If you have any questions or comments or you'd like to add anything to this, and you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you leave them down below. And I know a lot of you watching these videos on YouTube actually aren't subscribers, and yes, I can see that. Uh, so please hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.